Welcome back to 4W Farms. Today we're going to be cooking some chili. Well, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, I'm going to be cooking my chili. It's a, a lot of people around here like it. And whenever I told them I was cooking it for a Super Bowl party that's supposed to be happening tomorrow, they asked me to film it. Normally I don't film this type of stuff, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll start like a cooking section and show different things like that. So for now, I've got my skillet. I've got a pot of water. And uh, I'm just going to go over the process of what I do for cook, the, cooking chili the way I do. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the heat to my, I got like a half a pot of water here that I've got to cook my dried beans. I used to use canned beans, but I gotten to where I like using dry beans because it's less preservatives and that way you don't feel as heavy when you eat the food. <laughs> so I prefer to do the dry bean and just boil it to soften it and then uh, I mix it with my chili. So for now, I want to get this warmed up. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, start heating up my skillet. All right, things are starting to get warmed up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the first of the of the meat on. So the way I do my recipe, I'm used to doing this five pounds at a time because the first time I made it, I wanted to make a lot so I could eat of it. Or <laughs> I made a lot so I could um, eat it for the whole week. And also I wanted other people to try it. So all I'm used to doing is doing my recipe <laughs> to fill a whole crock pot. So my ingredients are five pounds of beef, a burger. I've got two red bell peppers, two yellow bell peppers, two orange bell peppers. I've got one onion and four jalapenos. Uh, that's pretty much everything that uh, goes into what I, when I cook my chili. And obviously I didn't let that heat up enough. I don't hear anything going on, but that's fine. It'll get started here in a second. Okay, so once I have this finally, once it's cooked through, everything is brown, and I've got it real finely chopped up like I like it. I'm gonna go strain it. Um, I strain it next in the sink, and then I just put it straight into my crock pot. You'll see it later, but for now, I'm just gonna strain this and just go through the rest of the beef and get everything done and get all the beef inside the crock pot. Then we move on to the vegetables. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, now that I've got my, my meat done, it's all inside the crock pot. Uh, now comes the, ve <coughs> the vegetables. Um, I've got my beans on simmer. Uh, we're on a medium setting. I've already just washed all these. So now where I'm gonna start cutting them up and I'm gonna use my processor to dice them for a little chopper. I don't know what this thing is called. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to cut into them. And basically, yes, I've washed my hands. Just going to pull out this core on the top. Just like so. I'm going to set this aside in that bag right there. And uh, basically, I just kind of kind of quarter them, I guess. Um, I do like to get this lighter parts off sometimes some reason um, sometimes I just won't I don't like to a lot well, at least I don't like a lot of that being on there I don't mind if I don't mind if some is on there but I still like to cut some of those lighter parts off for whatever reason it makes me feel better but I love chili I've always liked chili my whole life and the reason I came up with this is because you know I always eat chili from the stores but every time I look at the ingredients, there's so much sodium and, and just all these, just a bunch of stuff that's not good for you. So I wanted to come up with a way to kind of make a, a healthier chili. And that way I can enjoy it and it kind of be guilt-free. Um, a guilt-free chili, I guess. But I pretty much out of all the times I've made this, you know, I've, I worked on it for about a year or so until I had it really down pat to where I don't change anything anymore. Because I've, when I say perfected, I've perfected it to my taste. Now, somebody else might not even like it, you know, for all I know. I've never had anybody say they didn't like it. Maybe it just wasn't the, the best kind that they like. But I know I enjoy this, this chili. And plus, I wanted to come up with a chili that you didn't use any seasoning for. You know, you get these little packets, people use the packets, stuff like that. But I was like, man, it's just, 
just peppers. I just want to use the peppers. So I'm about to have my reds done. So we're going to process these up. See how that goes. Sometimes this thing doesn't like chopping properly. So we'll see. There. All right. We need to chop, which is this, which is on the red side. So it needs to be low. All right, so once you run one through, and you still may have chunks, because uh, I don't want to run it too much, because I don't want to get, I don't want it to get to where it's, you know, just like a, a moose. <laughs> so there's the red. Sometimes the one you gotta rock it. And this is more of a puree, but still it gets the job done. It's not exactly chopped like I said it was gonna be. All right, I just got done with, actually I'm not done yet. I thought I was done. I've gotta do my, uh, my jalapenos. And then lastly is the onion. I think I've tracked down most of the onion. All right, let's give that a whirl. Onions, I don't, I like onions. I used to not like hard onions. I used to, they always used to be cooked down for me. All right, so that's done. Now at this point, we can start to turn the heat back on. There's a lot of water in there. I might let that cook off first before I add uh, there's a lot of liquid. I might let that cook off first before I put some of the uh, some of the oil in there. So we'll let this heat up. The beans are still cooking. And uh, at this point, all we're waiting on is to saute the, uh, these vegetables. And when these beans finish, everything goes in the crock pot and it just marinates. While that is happening, while I'm waiting for that water to cook off of what's in the skillet. So here's the crock pot. I've got my meat in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding um, my tomato sauce. <laughs> so the tomato sauce I always buy is uh, Cantadina. For some reason, I just really like this sauce. I don't know if you showed it, yeah. Cantadina. And that's the sauce that I use. And I've got other. Oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this crock pot on. I'm going to set it for a six hour high. I'm not going to cook it that long, but that's just what I set it on. I just set it on high. Probably need to get a new. Get a new uh, can opener. Ooh, oh, there's my cat. I thought my light fell. Now, some of you may be saying, oh, <laughs> we use everything else natural without like that. Well, that's the last step. I have made a marinara before. I have made a sauce from flash boiling, uh, tomatoes, peeling the skin. I just haven't done it with my chili yet. We'll just give this a stir. You need to be sure to, at least I always work with this. Move it around. Allow the, be sure to let all the vegetables get in contact with the bottom of the pan. Give that a nice mix. And you can see, I mean, I just love looking at that color. You know you're doing something right if you're putting that in something. So this is what it should look like with everything with just the sauce and the um, and the beef and pretty soon this will be entering it 
All right, so I did add the oil in. I just poured a little bit of vegetable oil in there. I like having that in, in inside the that. Uh, when I go to put it in, I just feel like that oil, once it mixes with all these spices, uh, it just feels like it helps travel to the chili better. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this to the crock pot where we've got our sauce and beef. So here we go. <laughs> now it's time to mix all this in. So all we've got in here is our vegetables, beef, and tomato sauce. That's it. That's the only thing in here. Now I will, once the beans come in, I will stir it up and I will let it, I will let it cook for a while. Now everything's already cooked, so I'm not really cooking anything, but I let it heat up just to where all those spices and everything starts to marinate together. If that's the right word, I doubt it is. But just so everything can blend together. And the thing is, once all this is done, I don't serve this to anybody today. This is ready by tomorrow after sitting up or the next day. That's when it's the best. It'll still taste good, but it's just it's just 10 times better the next day or the day after. Looks like this is starting to heat up really well. It depends on how, how you like your, your chili. I don't recall, I don't think I've ever used like a whole package of beans. What I do is I typically just stir in some and see what the, the ratio is. It might need all of them, I don't know. And I typically like to use two different types of bean. I like to use a, a white kidney bean and a red kidney bean. That way I just, you have that contrast of color. I don't know why I'm like that. It's just, to me, I, it looks better. Yeah, it gets very close to the lid. You could do the same recipe by just cutting everything in half. Um, and I want to say I should have used a six can of tomato sauce. I may pick up some tomorrow and put it in here, but I think it, it looks fine. Um, but yeah, five or six cans of tomato sauce, one package of kidney bean. Uh, I use the two red pepper, two yellow bell pepper, and two orange bell pepper, one onion, and then normally I use five jalapenos, but those jalapenos are really big. So I just use four of them. And now we're just gonna let this heat up in here and cook for a little while. All right, everybody, it's been about an hour and a half. It's been sitting here. Um, it's gotten dark outside and I'm about to salt it to taste now. This is half a teaspoon. So we'll do one teaspoon first. We mix all that in. Let's try again. Have a new fork. Almost. Almost. So I think it is, I think I was correct that I usually do two teaspoons. Mix that in. Make sure I get a jalapeno. I think that's it. Let me get another bite. Let me stir it up a little bit more. I could probably go another half. 
but it's, you know, it's good right there. But I think another half a teaspoon for this one. Need to open up that little top better. There we go. Whoa! Yep, that's gonna do it. This will be it. Did it. So there you go. In my opinion, and a few other people's opinion, best chili on the planet. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, if you don't mind, give me a like and subscribe if you like, the, like what you saw. And let me know in the comments if you try to cook this and let me know what you think. Like I said, you can always cut it in half. If you didn't want to make five pounds worth of beef, just cut all the ingredients in half and make it that way. And if you do make it, let me know what you uh, think of it in the comments. Uh, that's all for me. Uh, you guys take care.